Are you guys in Florida? You guys live around here? Yes. Okay. Prepping, we don't have to really cut the cuticle down. We're using the sanding bag, we actually can push the cuticle back. If the client have too much cuticle, yeah, we have to cut it down a little bit, but I leave the cuticle because I like to have it there for later when I do the cuticle work. So I give myself room for air in case I actually cut somebody. I still cut people. So beginners always tell me, oh, I cut people. I'm like, well, you know, guess what? I've been doing nails 50 years. I still cut people. So it's an accident. It happens all the time. Okay? Years old. <laughs> um, years Marsha old. said, I'm so mad I'm missing this event. Uh, it's okay. I live stream it for you not to miss it. Right? Cool. So you kind of just nudge the cuticle back with the standing band. It's actually better than cutting. When you cut, you this is our booth right here. There's a nail section and then there's a hair section. So you have to go to the nail section and look at Mine not polish on the top. We need the XXL, but I'm actually going to actually cut this down a little bit. Are you? Oh, let me prep the other hand. I need two. I need two fingers. <laughs> Hi, Maria. It's Frankie. How are you? Good job. I just need uh, Jay to give me a drink. You didn't have one yet. I had two. Oh. I'm doing this because I got that not polished uh, tap. So we are next to the bar, which is on the left side, and then our booth is right here. Um, okay, the number is um, 71, 7100. So we're just going to use number two, which is a glue base for dip. Same thing. Whenever I do nails, I always start with these three fingers. Never start with the pinky or the thumb. A lot of people start with pinky holes first. The problem is the pinky is always the weird one. So I'm going to see on the straight edge. You want to match it up with the straightest finger. You keep the straightest finger that you have. The middle finger is probably the straightest one. They want to match all the nails up to the middle finger. So at least when you take the picture, they all come together. Okay? You don't want to start with one that's more crooked because once it's more crooked, then everything's going to look crooked. So whenever I do that, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm from California, so, you know, weed is legal there. I was, you know, before I worked, very creative. Ooh, not my life, right? Definitely. <laughs> I know that's life. I'm talking about So, sometimes you run the issue where the nail is not going to be, you can't find the perfect side. You can always go wider. Don't ever go more narrow, because once you go more narrow, you can have spots missing. Later on, with the nail. Oh, do you need the monomer? It's right here. For the monomer, I need to use the monomer chair. Is this monomer? I know I'm mad. Super good, huh? Is this monomer right here? Is that? No, clear. Get a new one. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's one. I just do the monomer trick. You guys ever run into issue with the nail not, not, not sticking? Sorry, you good, you good. Do the monomer trick. You just gotta increase the uh, monomer accelerant glue, hopefully. There's no glue. Oh my god. Life saver. Did you buy it? I'll pay you back. Ran down the street. You just need to just a small dab. I gotta go use the restroom real quick. Look at it. How do you do? You know what it is? This finger is flat. 
I didn't bear the sound for 100 people. <laughs> so for those guys that run the issues, you just gotta dip a little bit of the monomer. The monomer will accelerate the glue and the glue will actually bond faster. A little bit of trick up there. So, we're gonna match these two together. We'll do the same trick. You know this one on flat. See, this is all the glue you need. This is dip in here. Just where the well is, so it's wet. The moment we position. What the monomer does is it, it dries. Monomer dries acrylic, so it just accelerates. Now you put the finger together, see how it's the same length? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. 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 That's fine, they yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. 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 You wanna keep this length? Yeah. All right, shit. Yeah. Where's the scissor? Right. Where's the scissor? Right here. I'm gonna do two tap now. This one I'm just gonna do an ombre. This one I'm gonna do a, a barbell effect because I need this finger later for another demo. Okay. I'm just gonna clip the tip of it. See, I get that kiss. Square, match cuticle to cuticle. Cause remember, you see how on a nail base, this nail base is actually smaller than this in the finger. See that? If you if you cut it by base on how the length the length both the same, right? But you put a cuticle to cuticle, one is shorter than the other. A lot of people get confused about that. Okay, you gotta measure cuticle to cuticle because at the end of the day, when you take the picture, when they put the hand together, it has to be about the same length. And the pinky is always the smallest finger because you guys always start out with the pinky first. So now we can prep the nail. Got it. Who's writing this down? Uh, and just record it. We're gonna slightly prep the nail. Just around the nail line. We're gonna draw down the nail line a little bit. Get any rid of any excess glue. Yada yada. Um, sometimes if you're using a very sheer color, you want to blend this down, or else the tip's gonna show up, and it's not gonna make the. It's gonna look really, um, really high, and it'll show light. A lot of people want to blend the whole nail. You don't really have to do that. If you have a very really thick tip then yes the people blend it down so it's not as thick but in this purpose I'm doing only a demo so I won't have to do that and we won't use primer generally we'll put our primer on can you me another pick okay. is this too close primer. no you're fine you can actually go farther and I can zoom in so you don't have to be all over my shoulder. Good. I'm using that palm with my armor. It's probably a medium setting armor. This is my armor EMA. Huh? Class? Class setting. Class setting. Um, I don't use class setting because sometimes it costs more. And you can't work with the powder. You don't want fast setting. Something medium or slow setting would be better what, to work with. What would be a faster setting armor? Who would know? MMA? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a fast setting, uh, go make a white I'm going to start with the dip powder and acrylic powder are pretty much the same. No, but I that's why I mentioned for the fast setting. You never want to put yourself in a position where you have to accommodate the product. As in, like, if there's an issue, you got to figure out how to get the product to make it so easy for you. You don't want to make the issue. It's not blue, right? This is green. It's 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 green. So, like, you never want to make, you want to, never want to accommodate. Why? If you, if you have to get uh, a dip powder and use a, and I have to use a fast setting monomer to accommodate, no. Get a medium setting, get a powder that works best for you. Best for you. I'm building layers now. We're going to cap this with clear. Okay, so we have to build a very thin. When we're looking at more of a rock look, and that's gonna be, you wanna use pastel colors that are in the same family. Lavenders, uh, light, light purples, light pinks, you know, like blues, they're in the same family. You wanna use neon colors, they'll pop out. If you want a neon side, we'll do a neon side. We're looking for like an opal, okay? So, that's the thing about this. If you use different color combinations, just make sure you stay in the same family color wheel, okay? This purple is a little strong, but I'm never gonna, I'm still gonna use it. But I'm doing something else. Promoting everything right 
Next year, I'm still going to be single. Promote yourself. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing. I'm doing very thin. Almost like you kind of blend the powder in, but you want to create layers. That'll be different. If we're gonna do this on design, every now we do kind of position differently, so kind of more rotation. Afterwards, what do we do with this lab right here? We're going to do like an ombre to a new ombre. Cover and it kind of mutes. You want to go very thin because we're gonna have to cap all this later. Now you can all your extra. So for a lot of you guys that like to work with acrylic, I I I, I promise I'm a master of acrylic. I have Tino to take care of all the artwork for me. Okay. So when I'm with these guys, I have Tino to take care of that. When it comes to acrylic, that's where I, I shine in. Now we have everything nice and muted. We're building layers. We're not finished yet. So we can add all the little extras that we want. I love the extras. You can do the gold. Gold is actually the gold is actually the. <laughs> Break them up little pieces. Wow. Yeah. Then you won't be able to change the baby's diaper. You add the gold. Let's, let's be, be honest with you. A lot of nail techs, what they do is when they do add the embellishment, this is the luxury items, okay? They don't put a shit ton of caviar on top of a steak. Just a little bit. This caviar is expensive. Okay, we don't want to overload the nail. The design has to be structured. If you're doing an ombre design, you need to make sure the ombre is a star. And then you add extra, it's just complemented. You never want the nail to fight each other. Because when the set comes together, it's going to look like a bunch, like a kitchen sink. Okay? We're professionals, we're going to control how much we put and what we put on it. Okay? The acrylic's still wet. You can just use a monitor, wet it a little bit. Bits and pieces, so we need it. Remember, these are just our, our extra embellishments. Okay, now clear. We're not done yet. So just that much alone actually gives it a little bit more, right? We have clear powder. Do you have clear powder over there? Here you go. Alright, okay, I got it. Found it. We found it. So now, our nail is very thin. You guys see the side profile? It's very thin, right? We gotta build structure now. <laughs> Everything we built is very, very low. For a lot of you guys that are working with clear, you run into bubbling issues or the powder getting too. Um, uh, what you call it? Too cloudy. It's because your monomer. You gotta make sure your monomer is clean. Okay. Clear is always our last step. If, our, if we've been using purple, guess what? Purple pigment in there. The clear is gonna be pigmented. It's not the powder. Sometimes, sometimes I see speckles in the powder. That's because the monomer is not working at its full efficiency. It's contaminated. The monomer is not clean, so it's contaminated. So it's not gonna work full. Imagine if you're drunk. You go to work drunk. You're not gonna work the best, right? You gotta come sober. The monomer, after you use all this color powder, guess what? It's just drunk. It has all these other foreign objects into it. A lot of people think clear more or less the same. Of course, there's different levels of clear. Seven levels of clear. Anybody that knows, there's seven levels of clear. I'm not going to drag this powder. I'm just going to control it, making sure it stays where I need it. When I want to move it, I'll move it with my brush. I'm not going to let gravity take it. Guess what? It's going to come inconsistent. I want a nice structure. So when I see it stops moving, then I'll slowly move it down. Because this allows me to do light pressure, and the nail will be one thickness. A lot of people panic when they see the powder wet and runny. So they just, oh, let it drip. I gotta control it. No, you gotta fold it in and keep it where it's at. Cause that's what, that powder's gonna dry over time. 
this design I'm actually going to be teaching in my uh, advanced class uh, in Chicago, but for exclusive today, we we'll show you guys on here. My students will be doing this. Because everything I teach, everything Tino teaches in art, I have to teach it in acrylic. Make sure we bring the sides in because this is a curved tip. A lot of people think the sides are very wide. I'm about to drop my Instagram on here. <laughs> huh? <laughs> We're holding the camera. <laughs> I'm scared. Is it pinned? My Instagram pinned? Huh? Is it pinned? No, is this Instagram or is this Facebook? No, 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 no. Where's my other phone? This one. Yeah. One pin. Give me one second, guys. It's actually not a lot of fun. Uh, hold on. Oh, I forgot to share it into the group. Okay. You dropped something on here. Give me one second, guys. This is my backup list, though. There you go. I forgot to share the link. I want things on my nails. Okay, so we have the base nail down. You guys see it? It's nice and smooth. This is important. You shape your nail during the time that you're actually doing this. Okay? Shape your nail. Bring in the sides. Now we do the cuticle area. Now what? Everybody wants to do apex. All right, let's do apex. Apex B. Put a nozzle powder up lightly. We don't want powder up there. Okay. Control the powder. Keep the powder here. Cause that's what we we'll keep our apex, right? If I want to drag this through. Where's my drip, Jay? <laughs> give me a drink. <laughs> give me a, give me a drink and you give me you give me a drink. Give me a drink and uh, you give me another one. You want. <laughs> Guess what I did there? I blended that in. I didn't drive from up here. Did you see the red speaker? I blend it in. I leave the powder here because that's where the apex is. That's where we want it to be the strongest. Hello. A lot of people get. Very confused apex. They put the powder there at the apex, guess what? They drag it right through. There's no more apex there. You have to leave it there. You gotta blend it like you blend an ombre. Then look at the side profile. Especially when you're using um you're using a, a tip that's curved. You have the durability from the curve already. You don't need a high apex. When you build a high apex, it gets too bulky. Okay? It's very important. Now, my application is very smooth. You're not doing a lot of work later. Like yes, I can kind of build a little more stuff here if I wanted to. Too high apex. I see this. I see this. Uh, one of the issues, like people think that the bigger the apex, the better. Oh, not every I, client's I nails are going to be able to be accommodated um, with the same apex. I you have clients with fine nail beds, short nail beds, yeah. long nail beds. You have to place the apex properly and correctly, okay? Because that's one of the biggest things. Now that's coming in the street, I need to do apex. If I don't do apex, you, know, you always told me I'm gonna wait for like 300 people to watch and I'm gonna drop my Instagram. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Part here, cut it down because we need the, the cover. If this is high, guess what? You gotta use a lot more powder to build that waist and the little right here. That's a nice suit you got on, huh? looks good. Thank you. So, a lot of people, if you can't do the ombre in one beat, I'll show you how to do it in two beat. This, uh, also I got it. I wait for it. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Every ombre is the same, same spot. Every ombre is right here. New Panther. We're only gonna blend half of this powder. That's what we blend half of this powder. We know it. Only half of this is gonna be blended. So we need to gauge how our ombre is. There's our ombre. Right? We don't have any excess. We don't have enough powder to drag it all down. So every nail we do that, that's what the ombre is gonna be at. Okay. So now our second bead will be up more. Now we don't have to worry about our blend anymore. We're gonna have more time doing our cuticle. This is, I think, a 14 from that one. I use a 16 from my own line. So now, I don't have to do the blend. I just gotta blend this bit yeah. into that bit. And I go, I go sacrifice my blend. For a lot of people that can't do it in one bead, because if you do this in one bead, you have to do two things. You have to be able to blend, control the cuticle area. So that's a lot of time for people. Now, you can worry about your blend first, then your cuticle area, okay? You just gotta know that you... There we go. 
Yeah. Every nail. Now, if we did this every nail, guess what? The ombre is going to be in the same spot every nail. There's not enough powder for us to make it higher or lower. The position of these is even better. So yes, once you get more control of the powder, more understanding, then you start doing the two beads. So a lot of you at the beginning, you start precision ombre is different. It means that every nail of ombre is in the same spot in every nail. Yes, you can have an ombre where it's higher, lower, higher, lower. That's fine. Times looks okay for that. And you can produce every nail the same, that's fine. Then you'll get more for it. So this year I have a little bit of nail line. I'm going to cover up a little bit more nude just because I want to make sure it's nice and pretty. So that G will be able to find me a drink later with this powder. So now I fixed that problem right there. Now we go to our clear. I only cap with clear. Oh, that's not clear. I only cap with clear to protect my ombre. A lot of people want to cap the whole nail. I think that's a lot of work. So where I put my clear is, guess what? Where it's going to be at, where the apex area is at. That's going to protect my ombre from filing and drill, over fire over drilling. Yeah. I'm going to help it with my apex. So I don't have to build it all right away. Drag it through. Right. A lot of times nail techs will leave powder up here. You gotta nudge this powder up so it has a transition. Like this, you have to have a slope effect. The nails have to slope. See? You see the side profile? Let's zoom in. Oh. You're, you're in a comment. You're writing something. That's all you need, guys. That's all the apex you need. This is already a curved tip nail. It's gonna be strong and durable. Okay? Both nails are the same consistency. And there we go. That's ombre. Alright. Well, there, oh. there it goes. Then it's slow. Yeah, because you know. You didn't pay for our wi fi Do you see that? Do we really need a file and shape that much? Nope. It's smooth already. We need to eliminate how much work we do with the hand filer and the drill. Those tools to help us. If we can do all the work now, during the application, do it during the application. That's why a lot of nail techs spend a lot more time because they, they don't, they think, oh, I'll just file that later. I'll just drill that later. That's what, it's gonna take me more time later. If you perfect it here, you won't have to do that later, okay? So this one should be dry now. We're not finished with this one yet. Pay somehow, <laughs> right? Look, I even, I, even, I even got the good angle of him too. Look, 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 look. This, this is a good side. They actually never see me when I'm actually working. Yeah, this is. I'm live, no one to see my hands. 
why a lot of students, when they meet me, they're like, you're not even a taller person. I'm like, how can you tell how tall I am by my hand? So, what are hand filing? We still got to do our student work. Same technique. You look underneath, guys. I see a lot of nails that's great sex. Guess what? When you look underneath, you got like, you know, things in general. You don't want that. You can get removed out of that. Position your file like this, you're real good. Remember, what's up, Marsha? So the file he's using is the, um, it's an 8100 grit. It's a not polished file. It's a very good file. I love it. Give me a drink. Give me my drink. Give me a margarita. Margarita, come and give me a drink. Ain't no free wings around here. This is a little bit softer, I will finish this later, but now I'm going to do the cuticle work on this nail. Can we take a look at that? Just hold it one place. There we go. So, generally I use my 5-in-1 sharp bit. I don't think they have it here. They have more of a safety. But I'll use the cylinder. This is a sharp cylinder bit. Okay? I have a 5-in-1 in my own brand for this. Um, I only use sharp bits. This is one I want you to zoom in. I'm gonna go with that. Better, huh? Peter Perry. I guess there's a 15% chance I'll cut her. That's, that's normal. We're nail techs. That's good. Don't uh... structure your finger, okay? You need to have control over this. So the five and one is cold. It's right in between. Uh, it's dip powder. It's uh, the sugar effect. Okay, so yeah, so it's all on one. You can do all. Yeah. It depends. Remember that cuticle she had earlier? earlier? So, if I ever actually to touch it, then that will remove the cuticle at this point. Okay. I'm sorry, but this is sharp. I have to go fast. Yes. yes. I like actually. I like using sharp bits, and I actually like going faster than slow. Getting rid of all the bumps is making it flat. This is where the lift comes from, guys. A lot of you guys are running lift issues. The first thing you guys do is run to the biggest plane of primer and bond or whatever. For nail techs, 80% of our job is these nails. Okay? Like, you need to go to Google to see where the cables where the lift comes from. The products will help, but it's not going to help you when you can't see what you're doing. You get light over, you still get the same you eat, and you get the big dinner. Alright? You get right back. <laughs> A lot of people have rather issues with the size of their skin, though. That's why I'm moving her finger. Not this. When you move her finger, you have more control. This has to be anchored so that you don't get some time. You know the boss that I use at this bit? It's like the 1990s, early 2000s, Asian nail salon there. A lot of you don't know what I'm talking about. Damn, I still use that bit. You see why? I only have to blend it. Please blend the transition.
No, go to this side. Excuse me. Can you move this place? I want to show you guys how, how the angle of this drill is. Yeah, how many degrees do you think that is? This is about 35 degrees. 35 degrees? I don't know. My math's pretty bad. I'm only using the drill for bad math. Yeah, that's about 35 degrees. See how I move her finger? I don't move my drill. You move your, the, the client's finger where you need to be comfortable. And guess what? If they're stiff, cut them. <laughs> Anybody that's stiff and hard, you cut them one time, that's it. Well, now I don't oh, you will cut them. If they're, 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 they're like this, you're going to cut them. Then when you cut them, they're like, oh, because you're, you need to relax. I guarantee you they'll relax. <laughs> if you ever got to cut a client, that's the one time you need to cut. <laughs> Move the client's <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't go out there and cut plants. Hey, I'm gonna cut you today. Your dad told me so. Your ass is so stiff. We got it on video. Please <laughs> come after me. Okay. Mine is. So, I'm gonna hand file these. I'm gonna finish up for the time. Don't be afraid to use this thing, guys. You're paying a lot of money for it, I guarantee you. Put some pressure on it, get in there. Remember, move in a circular motion. Well, not like getting time. I'm going to finish out with a little bit of minor filing. Just remember, the more you file, the worse the shit gets, right? You only have a short amount of time to stop filing. And please, lose the stroke. Don't break the break. When are you be done? Tomorrow. You gotta really use the pilot. Okay? Okay? Voila. I thought this was a $2 mop. <laughs> so everything I do now is $2 mop. I was up to $2. I know. Okay? $2 mop. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Marmon. I'm working for drinks. He's working for drinks. For their, their their final final amount, this is when the the, the sex appeal happens. Everything comes together. Ah! You guys ready? I actually have some plans for this later for Tino, so we're gonna save that later. But look at the ombre though, very consistent, very good blend structure. This is sex right here, okay? This will, this is where you get, this is where you're charging the client for, guys. This is where you're charging the client for. This, yeah, they'll pay for this, but this is what they're paying for. Structure, everything even. There you go. You guys want to do 200 300 dollars sets? We're here. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys um students in Chicago. Please be prepared for this design more advanced. Um